We are told by the mystics that every human being represents a letter in the Torah. And you have to find your letter, your own special message. So you can see yourself reflected in the people who get called up to the Torah, who read the Torah. There is something in this for every one of us. Rabbi Volpe is more than just the spiritual leader of Sinai Temple. He is one of the most beloved and respected leaders of the worldwide Jewish community. Over the years, he has touched the lives of countless individuals with his guidance, wisdom, devotion, and kindness. Rabbi Wolpe just has this really special gift to command attention. He loves to perform. He loves the spotlight. Whether it's chess championships or the Eagles or the Phillies, he has as much passion about that as he has as studying a piece of Talmud. He is um, a horrible, horrible cook. Like, beyond. So bad. We would joke around, we love to listen to Frank Sinatra, and I think especially he loves Frank Sinatra and the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra. I always make fun of him. I'm like, you do realize that you and my soon-to-be 100-year-old grandmother have exactly the same musical taste. You want to be a better person when you're around. He can, in a few words, summarize and encapsulate the way people feel and brings comfort. Everybody in the synagogue feels that he's speaking to them. He comes from a place of unifying people and not dividing them. Rabbi Wolpe asks that we choose to speak to each other instead of turning our back on one another. And that is what the Torah teaches every single day. And Rabbi Wolpe has both the eloquence and the heart to share that message every day of his life. Very few battles are won with anger. You'll feel good for a moment, and believe me, others will cheer you on. But in the long run, you will destroy the possibility of dialogue, of understanding, of compromise, and of growth. He has shared his deep knowledge of the Jewish tradition, inspiring all to explore and embrace their Jewish faith in new and meaningful ways. The vision that he had for Jewish life brought thousands of people physically together, but also connected a world Jewry at times when it was desperately needed. The fact that Judaism is the only religion that is documenting dissent and dissenting views for thousands of years, and the popular view or the most common sense view is the one that rises up to the surface. It's a huge strength in our Jewish culture, and it's what David is about. It's who he is. He navigates um, incredibly difficult issues with a very gentle and firm guidance for the community. He has a real gift in bringing people to a conversation that is deeper and more meaningful than most people are able to get to on their own. His ability to be both a full-on traditionalist, a conservative rabbi in a conservative temple, and yet stand up there and be like, you know what, no, I'm gonna do gay marriage. I'm gonna do a gay wedding in my temple because you know what, this is the time and we're moving with the times. He's making the Jewish people stronger and he's making the world stronger. Basically every stance he's taken has been thoughtful and aggressive and inclusive. You know, he works to make sure that as many people as possible are happy with the stances that they take and safe with the stances that they take. What Rabbi Wolpe has taught over and over again is that our differences shouldn't define us. Our differences should refine us. That's what is so special and unique about Sinai Temple. Our mission is that you belong here because you're Jewish. That's what Rabbi Wolpe has taught us from day one and continues to teach us every day of his rabbinate. His impact on the wider Jewish community has been recognized on a global scale. He is a renowned teacher and scholar who has written eight books, was named the most influential rabbi in America by Newsweek and one of the 50 most influential Jews in the world by the Jerusalem Post. Beyond his work as a spiritual leader, 
He has been a tireless advocate for social justice and human rights. He has used his platform to speak out against injustice and to promote the values of equality, tolerance, and compassion. His unwavering dedication to making the world a better place has inspired countless individuals to take action and make a difference. Rabbi Wolpe has taught me the ability to look at this world not by defined boundaries, but rather to look at this world and ask the question, what's possible? The impact that Rabbi Wolpe has had on Sinai Temple is beyond its walls. What starts in the sanctuary, what starts as conversations in his office, extends into the larger Jewish world of Los Angeles and extends into the global Jewish world, and in fact, beyond. He is a devoted father to his daughter, Samara, and his love and commitment to his family and community are evident in the way he has balanced his demanding congregational responsibilities with his role as father, family member, and friend. I mean, he's a great dad. <laughs> I, he's always been very much, he's very loyal to the people that he is close to. He has a very small inner circle and he's extremely loyal and loving to those people. He made an active effort to give me the space to be my own person and I really, really appreciate that. He has spent the vast majority of his time over the last, you know, 20 plus years being with other people as they live their lives and as they live their important moments. You can't share the intimate moments that he shares with people on a daily basis when he's, you know, saying a vidui on someone's deathbed or he's standing under the chuppah with two people who are about to commit their lives to one another. He is there holding people's hands in their most intense, intimate moments of their lives. And that's a really profoundly selfless act to be able to do that. He has lived his life for others. He's a human being that feels, he's a human being that cares, and he's a human being that wants the best for this community, not just for yesterday and today, but as importantly, for the many, many generations ahead. You have an investment in future generations, even though you might not think about it that way. I mean, think about it. Why does Noah get on the ark? Why doesn't Noah say, if everything's going to be destroyed, I'll be destroyed too? I don't want to continue if everything's going to be destroyed, but he wants the project of humanity to continue. Each of us, in a strange way, builds an ark. Each of us preserves for those who come after. Each of us has an investment in the future that we won't see, but we will shape. Thank you for your years of leadership and spiritual guidance. Thank you for your scholarship, your inspiring words of wisdom, your mentorship, friendship, and daily presence in our lives. We will honor your legacy by continuing the work of repairing the world and living with kindness, empathy, and Torah. Thank you so much just for being a friend. I'm so happy for you that you are where you are and that now you get to take the next step on your next great adventure. And I can't wait to see what that's gonna be. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your friendship. And thank you for all that you will continue to do as we lead towards the next generation. And I personally am not gonna let you disappear between the books somewhere in the East Coast and never return, okay? So take this time, enjoy it, and uh, we'll see you back here. Rabbi Wolpe, it's been an honor and a privilege to work with you all of these years. I'm so proud of you, and I am so excited to see how this next chapter unfolds for you. 17 years ago, when I saw you at JTS and I knew that's the rabbi I wanna work for, tonight, I have to say, you continue to be the rabbi I want to work for. I know that this being the rabbi has been, um, it's made your life but also I'm just so happy for you that you just get to be you now. Congratulations, I love you. I am the improbable rabbi 
I am what they used to call a Luftmensch, which means an airman. Somebody whose head is in the clouds and who has to continually pull themselves back to earth. And I have a certain astonishment that I have survived in this job for so long when a keen awareness of other people in their lives is so important. But you made space to, for my faults. You were kind to my shortcomings and you cheered me on when I got it right. Over almost 40 years, I have been able to tell you your story. As for almost 40 years, you have been so much of my story. For all the hurts and all the slights, all the pain, we can be forgiven. We can go forward in this world with pure souls, with cleansed hearts, and thanks to this place, with many, many, many blessings. Thank you.